All right, citizens, how's it going? Welcome back to some juicy Star Citizen. And, uh, man, I'm excited. Before I get into this video and I show you some structural salvage, which is a little, is some, for some reason caused like controversy a little bit here in the, the Star Citizen community. I'll be honest, I, I don't think anyone's going to be surprised that I'm a little bit optimistic, but I really like this um, early implementation. Um, quite honestly, like, it's, I'll be honest, it's an experimental build. This is not even the live build. They're starting off asking for feedback, and quite honestly, the whole thing kind of works. So, I, like, I'm pretty happy, to be quite honest. It's, like, in a really good early state, and I'm looking forward to seeing how it develops over the next year, because, you know, it's gonna, it, like, it's not finished yet. Anyway, before I get on to showing you that, which is quite cool, some good visual effects as well, actually. Um, I need to show you something, uh, which has kind of blown my mind about the Vulture here, and the Reclaimer, actually. So, previously, when you, uh, actually, let's lock in a location, I'll come back here. When you were doing salvage before, you'd have to go up and down the ladder every two boxes of salvage you salvaged. And it would make the task, I'm not gonna lie, a little bit repetitive and annoying. Um, I didn't like getting up quite so often. You could solve this with like by asking somebody else to do that for you. I didn't quite like that. So I ended up not doing it. But now what they've done is they, they allow you to freaking... Ooh, this is a pretty nice one. C2. Sorry, I'll be, <laughs> be right with you. Uh, hammerhead. Hmm. Uh, let's see here. Crew L4. I'll do. Anyway, so it made me not want to do this gameplay loop solo, but now you can do 14. You can load up 14 SCU. That's the entire cargo hold of this ship without having to empty it, which is brilliant because now I've locked in a location, right? There's nothing here. Right, let's just go eject. And what's going to happen is it's going to eject one every time I move it. So whilst I'm going to, for example, my next salvage mission, or I'm going to where I'm going to sell the salvage that I've collected, I can move, I can do this quote-unquote busy work gameplay in the meanwhile. And I really want to see more of this from CIG. Like, there's a lot of waiting around, there's a lot of tasks like this, which are immersive. But now that I can do this whilst also... Heading over to a location just honestly makes it so much better. And I think engineering is going to do this as well. But yeah, I just love killing two birds with one stone. I just absolutely love the idea of being able to do this busy work whilst also doing quantum. Like as you can see, I've got two million worth of distance to travel now, which is nothing in comparison to what I would have been doing normally, which is sitting, staring, like all that time. I probably edited the video a bit, but all that time I would have been just sat there staring at quantum, right? And the fact that there's the other things I need to be getting on with, I find quite good. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know, like I say, let me know what you think down in the comment section, but it's like worked out nearly perfectly. You know, did all my moving. You know, if we were heading to sell, that would have been perfect. So, I don't know. I think it's brilliant. I love it. That's a great addition. <laughs> Alright guys, I fast forwarded the video because I've got to the A2 and uh, just a heads up, public service notice, you can't actually break um, this with a vulture. So if you're hoping to do massive, I mean it's kind of dumb because <laughs> breaking up this A2 would give me 443 SEU worth of cargo and I can carry 14. Um, so let's choose <laughs> a different ship. And I'll meet you guys there. Oh, I'm kind of glad I learned that. But also, that's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> right, okay. So, I found another bit of salvage. There was also another segment where I got caught in a uh, quantum moving boxes scenario. Here's that clip. Okay, this might, <laughs> this might be my new favorite thing. Uh, so, this is not planned. I did not plan this intro. <laughs> Look at this. I don't need it. Bye. <laughs> I don't know where I just dropped that off, but... Oh, uh, man. Why is it so funny to me? Bye! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, so yeah, that was fun. And I started recording another video, but no, this is after the A2. And I've got a cutlass instead, which is a much better option for us. And I think I can actually do. So um, yeah, let's break it down. They've, I think they've changed some of the UI here. So we've got, I can use the left side. I can use the right side. You see how the UI changes there. It's really cool. You can obviously use both. Uh, so left and right, which is cool. Obviously you're used to being able to like move these independently. So this is for like scraping the hole, which I showed you on the A2. Um, but you then have fracturing mode, which is awesome. And I think it's really cool. Uh, so I don't know what, I think you just have to look at it for a while. Yeah. So this is actually going to give me 28 SCE worth of, um, material. I can only fill up 14. So there we go. But you can see there's this little fracturing thing moving up. And we've got this cool little lighting effect. It's pretty rad, honestly. I really like the visuals. Got this pulsating thing in the middle. It looks great. It's like a shockwave. It's going to break. This animation, I think, will get refined. Um, it's still really cool how the stuff breaks apart. But there we go. There's actually a cargo box inside as well. So we've, we've fractured it. So we've completely like disconnected all the components and then we need to go into disintegration mode or as I like to call it unlimited power mode for obvious reasons. Um, and then this is literally point and click gameplay right now. So this is gonna be worth 2.3 SCU. You click the button, does this kind of pulsating thing, turns it into little pieces and then hoovers it all up. And bam, you get 2.3 SCU instantly. I think, and if they're looking for feedback at this early stage, here it is. I think this is a little too quick. Um, that might be like a planned thing, like they're planning to make it a little bit slow, uh, slower in the future. But I think it just sucks up, like this is 1.7 worth of SCU. I think you suck it up far too quickly. I think it should take longer, depending on the size of the piece. I don't know if you guys agree on that, um, but I can knock out this ship in like, a ridiculous amount of time. It's kind of crazy. Like, and it can even do multiple pieces at once as well. Alright, so if I go to... If I kind of look over here at two pieces... It's actually telling me if I suck this up, I'm actually going to get way more. But if I look at that bit and that bit, for example... Is it going to let me do... Oh, there we go. Look at both. So you can see both the circles are going up. It's just too quick, man. I can salvage this entire ship in less than five minutes, and that is ridiculous. All right, let's get rid of this. I do like the visuals, though. And the audio, I quite like. We've got a little cargo box there as well. It's kind of cool. But yeah, filler station full. Obviously, you saw that we've already got one. And that's it. It's really easy. It's really simple. Um, as I said, you can literally fill up your cargo hold and then do some more. So, you know, I could do what I did at the beginning of the video and move all the boxes. But that's cool, isn't it? So I've already got 14 there. And then I've got another 14. This looks different, the crafting. So I don't know if you've noticed, but it's got like different requirements. I don't know if it's either or. Not entirely sure. So I've only got construction materials. So let's see if I can build that. So is it either or? And it obviously takes four seconds to do. And then it pops out here. You can collect it. That's quite cool, isn't it? What else can I craft? True hold attachment. I love the fat craftings coming into the game. I think it's probably the best feature. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love... This gameplay, I say, some people have um, given this a bit of a bad rap, I think, because it's a little bit simple and compared to other aspects of the game. But in my opinion, I think this is a great start, and um, like, I'm actually really looking forward to seeing how they add skill to it. I think it could, like, I think it requires a little bit longer. It's too easy to like make a huge butt ton of money. Um, there is also the reclaimer, which I haven't done yet, but I need to check that out. But um, yeah, short one today, guys, but good video. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.